The following procedure is a bump test and calibration of an MGS unit. The tools required are a digital voltmeter with a resolution to two decimal places, crocodile clips, flat bedded screwdriver and a Merco calibration kit which includes your cylinder of calibration gas, flow regulator, flexible non-absorbent tubing and a vented calibration hood. This is an MGS unit. There are three different models. For demonstration purposes we will be using the semiconductor model, but the procedure is the same for all MGS models. Please use the check and calibration manual for the appropriate adjustment of potentiometers for each sensor type. The zero volt test point is marked here on the board as 0V. The sensor voltage output in clean air is indicated by VS. The adjustment for the zero voltage is P2 and the range or span adjustment is P3. The voltage alarm set point is monitored at REF1 and the alarm set point adjustment is shown as P1. The delay settings on the unit are at JP5 and JP6 as shown here. The jumpers are normally red or black in colour. Before starting, inform the occupants, plant operators and or supervisors of the test. Check MGS connections to external equipment and disconnect if required. Deactivate any delays by removing jumpers JP5 and JP6. Before performing your test, the MGS must be powered up overnight. The rating label on the side of the MGS gives you the calibration gas, range and alarm voltage. These values were established during the initial factory calibration of the unit. There are two types of bump test. The quantified bump test uses a known concentration of gas and the non-quantified bump test uses an unknown concentration. Connect the voltmeter between V0 and Vs and adjust P2 to 0 volts if in clean air. Once the sensor starts to see the gas, this voltage should increase. For a quantified test, you need to use a calibration cylinder for the target gas at a concentration as on the rating label or higher. Expose the sensor by introducing gas to the sensor here. You should see the voltage increase. It may take 10 to 15 minutes to reach full scale on the sensor output. Older sensors may take longer. Observe the voltmeter output when the unit goes into alarm. This should correspond to the alarm set point as on the rating label, which should be the factory settings or your own local settings. Once you've reached the alarm set point, the red LED light and the sounder, if enabled, will activate. The relay should also activate and if the MGS is connected to the remote MGD panel, they should also activate the yellow and or red LED for the alarm on the panel. The sounder can be muted by removing JP2. Connect the voltmeter between V0 and Vs with your known target gas of specified range and adjust P2 to 0 volts if in clean air. Expose the sensor by introducing gas to the sensor here. You should see the voltage increase. Once the voltage stops climbing and stabilizes, then adjust the voltage to 5 volts using P3. The MGS will now be in alarm and the sounder, if enabled, will activate. The relay should also activate if the MGS is connected to the MGD panel. Then the yellow and or red LED on the MGD panel should be lit. The sounder can be silenced by removing jumper JP2. Remove the gas and the unit will come out of alarm and return towards zero volts. <laughs>